In this video, I'll take you through cataract surgery in a patient with intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, a condition where a malugan ring is sometimes required to support the iris. Phenylephrine is a medication injected into the eye to dilate the pupil, and viscoelastic, it's a gel-like material used to maintain the eye pressure. Here it is injected under the iris to prepare for the malugan ring. A 2.2 millimeter self-sealing incision is made, and the malugan ring is now placed. The eyelets of the malugan ring capture the edge of the iris in four positions to create a stable 6.25 millimeter pupil diameter. Here a malugan manipulator is used to secure the final eyelet of the malugan ring keeping the iris stable throughout the surgery. Now a capsulorexis can be completed. Here it is being completed manually with capsulorexis forceps. This is a circular opening in the front of the capsule that allows the surgeon to access the cataract without disrupting the support system into which an artificial implant will eventually be inserted. The capsulorexis size is ideally 5.5 millimeters. In hydrodissection, specialized fluid is used to irrigate between the capsule and the cataract, separating them and allowing the cataract to rotate so that it can be eventually broken up into fragments. Here a Chan cannula is used, which allows for sub-incisional hydrodissection. Phacoemulsification is a sophisticated ultrasound technology that allows the surgeon to break the cataract up into segments for removal. The nucleus is rotated, and now the nucleus, the central part of the cataract, is divided into two, here using a quick chop technique. These two fragments are now rotated and divided up into smaller segments which are then removed from the eye as fragments using phacoemulsification. This is completed until all of the fragments are removed. The epinucleus is aspirated with the phacoemulsification handpiece. And the handpiece is now removed from the eye. Irrigation is used to maintain the eye pressure. The cortex is aspirated with a smaller handpiece that has a silicone tip and uses specialized irrigation fluid. The cortex is the outer coat of the cataract and once it has been removed, we can then prepare to insert the new implant. The silicone tip of the IA handpiece can now be used to polish the capsule. The capsule is filled with viscoelastic, the gel-like material that maintains eye pressure. A folded one-piece IOL implant is now inserted through the 2.2 millimeter incision. The implant unfolds and opens inside the capsule, the natural support system of the eye that will keep the implant centered in place. A malugan manipulator is now used to gently unhook the eyelets from the iris. The malugan ring is rotated as each eyelet is unhooked. Viscoelastic is in the anterior chamber to protect the cornea. The malugan ring is now re-engaged through the malugan inserter and removed from the eye. The main incision is hydrated. Irrigation and aspiration is used to remove the remaining viscoelastic, and you can see here the undulating iris from the turbulence of the fluid because of intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. The IA handpiece is removed, keeping the eye pressurized.
and antibiotics can be injected intracamerally at the end of the case. The wounds are well sealed, the eye is nicely pressurized, and the case is completed successfully.